Hey guys, it's Necro131, and today I'm going to be playing FTL, and I will be continuing my less-than-epic quest for the Crystal Cruiser. Um, I'm really sorry about last time. I realized that I had no game audio. That was because I was wearing headphones, so I could hear the audio, however you could not. This time, however, I have audio. Brilliant, right? Yeah. So I'm going to be jumping right into this. Um, I wasted a lot of time talking last time, and so let's get to it. Alrighty, I am on Sector 2, so I need to get going. <laughs> let's see, we are in danger, and this is not an overly dangerous ship. In fact, I am not very concerned, except for... I don't know if that defense drone can shoot down my crystal... May as well try it, like, I guess. Yes. That is a problem. Fortunately, I have Swarm and Ion Bombs. And also Mind Control. But I think I need to upgrade my sensors or send somebody into the sensors room. In fact, I am going to do that right now. Um, I'm going to shuffle some power around and see if I can get their pilot mind controlled I guess just so none of my swarm missiles missed and then we're going to swarm missile okay that took it out this is good and that hit that's what we wanted okay now some of you guys may be wondering um, what I'm really planning on to do oh dang that missed Basically, I just kind of want to... Oh, I don't like the look of that. Let's not let him get that fixed. As long as this doesn't miss... Okay, good. And that opened up a breach. So I did some research. I found out that this crystal thingy only actually goes through one level of shields. So at some point, we will need to get better weapons. I've already gotten an ion bomb, which is, you know, not great, but could be useful and if it's not I can always sell it so why not All right let's fire on those guys that is a terrible surrender offer oh and it stunned both of them oh, it looks like our mind controlled guy is almost dead and they're going to be attempting to fix the piloting system this shot should kill them uh, I'm just going to fire I guess on their engines no reason not to. Alrighty, so we got some good stuff. Um, looks like we just have some health problems. Ha ha ha. Uh, I'm going to upgrade that. Need more reactor power. I saw this 24. Let's see if that increases when we jump. Yes, okay. That means... Ooh! That means our passive healing on our clone bay is working and does work even if it's not powered, which is good. And actually, I think if I upgrade that, I get a better passive dodge chance even if that's not powered. So at some point, I may be looking into that, or I may just be looking into replacing this totally. Um, This ship does not look super scary. I guess just to mess with them, I'll mind control their pilot. It's one of my favorite things to do. Yeah, their ship cannot hurt me, so... That gives me a lot of free reign to do pretty much whatever I want. And I think I'm going to attempt to kill their crew just because I'm a jerk. <laughs> because I can. So, and this should actually kill them. Wow, that was really... Oh, wait, no. Um, small makeshift white flag. <laughs> They have taken research about your culture's customs quite literally. That's hilarious. I forget how funny FTL can be. I'm not going to accept surrender. And they all died. So, yeah. They surrendered somehow right as they were dying. They decided that surrender would somehow save them. It did not. I annihilated them. So, I think we better play it safe and get to the end of this sector pretty soon. Ooh. Mmm. I'm going to attack the slaver scum. Even if I don't get a slave, I'll get some scrap. And their crew is entirely NG. Which makes me laugh. And their ship c 
cannot do damage to me. So, um, do a little song and dance here where we mind control their pilot. Actually, this does enough damage to enemy crew members, and they, they like, try to kill each other. So I wonder if I couldn't use this in combination. Um, yeah, they're almost dead. I think one or two more hits might do it. That does a lot of crew damage, which is unexpected. Okay. Oh. Okay, he's dead. And our next shot should kill him. I could mind control him, but I don't really see a reason to. Yeah, he's going to stay in that until it's fixed. Alright. Oh! So I can either let them die... I can take a crew member. I'm going to take a crew member. Do I want to do that? I have a pretty good crew. Mmm. This is a tough decision. I'm going to take their crew member. I guess just because I can. And we'll have him run over to the shield room. Translator, get yourself fixed up there, buddy. You too can. Um, continuing on our less than epic adventure. Scan show no signs of it. any ships or settlements nearby. You have no way of knowing if it, if the area was always uninhabited or if it was simply erased by the Lanius. The Lanius are one of those really weird species where it's kind of like, what is your purpose? And it's apparently just to be scavengers. I have no drone parts. Okay. I will ignore them. Next sector. We could either go Zoltan or Mantis controlled. Counting on this being the Rock Home Worlds, it's probably not going to be. I'm going to take the Zoltan controlled. Just because I can. And on the off chance that I do find... So, we want to jump around a little before we hit that store just to gain some extra scrap. Nothing but static. That is hugely disappointing to me. Okay, here here's an actual fight. Thank goodness. Oh, my sensors do not work. It may be worth it to invest in a slug crew member at some point. It's not something that I expected. So, mind control is not an option. However, their ship is laughably easy to destroy. I guess I'll just target their piloting system for lack of anything else to do, and it looks like they're moving everyone in there, so I'll just keep firing on that. So, I'd say we are doing very well so far. Resist! I hate rock plating! It's such an annoying ship. Ugh. I'm sorry, rock plating is not a ship, it's an augment. Pardon me for mistaking the two. Oh, and they fixed their piloting system. Miss. That is why I was targeting the piloting system in the first place. To reduce the chances that I would miss. So this is going to be a pretty slow fight. I guess I could speed it up, but what the heck is going on here? You know what? I'm, I'm going to just spend one missile to launch three. That very effectively decimated them. I mean, that was actually unprecedented um and they're dead that is why i like the swarm missiles it takes a while to charge up but it can do some serious damage and i actually got one missile back from that so that was a good use of a missile i'm going to jump to the store and see if they have some better weapons i'm go probably going to end up selling this ion bomb they have a whole laser mark too which is one of my one of my favoritest weapons favoritist is that a word i don't think so i don't really care I'm going to buy this, and we'll invest some weapon power later. Um, yeah, I don't have a drone system. Do I need, like, one one fuel, I guess? <laughs> I may as well just do that. So this takes three power, so I think I'm, what I'm going to end up doing is just buying one more weapon power and some more reactor power and just deactivating my swarm missile unless I need it. Because this fires three shots, combined with this, which pierces one layer of shield. So I probably want to fire this first, let it hit the shields, and then I fire this. And that could actually 
that actually, that could actually pierce through the rubble flagship shields, which is good. Um, yeah, I, I like laser weapons. Probably one of my favorite things in the game. Like, I, I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of missiles or, you know, that stuff. I just, oh my god, one of these. Okay, this ship is not super dangerous. Um, that makes no sense. Why did I do that? I am going to probably keep that running so I can end this fight quickly. They've got missiles, which means that I don't really need to concern myself with shields. I'm going to invest some extra, that bar of power and some extra evade chance. And we're just kind of going to sit here until all of our weapons charge. And that did no whole damage, which is why I love l rock plating. So I'm going to fire on that like so. They got off another missile shot, and it missed. So that was textbook perfect. I'll just fire my swarm missiles. With the swarm missiles, you generally want to target these four tile rooms, I guess you could call them. Four tiles, is that a good description? I don't know. You want to target those rooms because the radius of the swarm is about four tiles, so you drastically reduce your chance to, like, miss your shots with that. And I really should have been paying attention. Looks like they're going to escape, or they're trying to escape. I don't know if I want to th throw my swarm missiles there. I'm going to shoot them at their engines, because... What was that? That was... That was unacceptable. No, 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 no. No! God! Freaking dang it. Um, come on, come on, ah, that was a waste. Oh well, I lost three missiles and took no whole damage. So, not a terrible fight, but not really that great either. Uh, hacking, they are going to hack my door system. Which, like, they, there's worse things they could have hacked, I guess. I apologize, I have a cold. That is why I sound so weird. Um, okay. So, oh, that was unexpected. Did not see that coming, and that is really annoying, actually. Why are the Why are they hacking my drone system? My goodness, I just keep missing. Okay, I am. I'm going to waste a missile. Fire on their weapons. And they're going to get another shot off. Yeah. Okay. Now we're going to take out their hacking system. Because I can, I guess. I mean, once I, once I destroy an enemy's weapons, there's only so many... You know what? No, piloting can die. I don't care if you hack the door systems. Piloting is going to die because I hate... Hate my shots missing. Thank you. Now we can fire at will and just annihilate everything with really no chance of them stopping me. Yeah. And your weapon systems are not going to live for very long. So hopefully I get some good scrap from this battle so that I can actually power up my whole laser. That is excellent. 26. How much? 35. So not great, but I did invest in some extra... Hmm... What do I want to depower? Do I want to depower mind control or dodge chance? I think in this case, dodge chance. I hope that's the right decision. M might be? I don't know. Okay, I'm going to upgrade my reactor power with that free scrap and get my dodge chance back up to 25%. Oh, whoa, 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 when did this occur? What? Uh, actually, no, don't do that. Let's just let... Fortunately, that was in, like, the best possible place next to maybe, like, this room here. So, not terrifying, I guess? Okay, there we go. Sorry, I can't use this open all doors, otherwise the oxygen gets sucked out by the lanius. It, it would take time, but still. Okay, there's a store there. I'm going to jump around a bit before I go to that, you know, so I have as much scrap as possible. 
Uh, okay, that was sort of... See, if I had had a stasis pod, that would have been one of the events we were looking for. However, I have a crystal crew member, so not a huge deal. <laughs> Some people are going to be like, you should be doing this the original way, you know, actually sweating blood and whatnot to find the crystal cruiser. I'm just like... I don't really feel like I need to do like put in all this effort just to get this one thing. I'd rather do it the like the simplest way possible and not have to deal with that rather than like taking so much time and effort just to get a single ship. But that just kind of tells you how lazy I am as a person. Like if there's an easier way to do something, I would prefer to do it that way. That's that's why I don't play I only play well, I I play on normal actually. A little bit, you know. Mostly what I've been doing... I told you that I'd acquired all the ships. The thing is, I haven't played with that, all of them. Or the ones that I have played with have been throwaway runs to unlock other ships. So, quite honestly, I actually have not played with a lot of the ships I own. So the reason I don't play on normal a lot of the time is because I'm testing out new ships. Now when I test out new ships to get a feel for them, I prefer to take them out on easy. You know, later I can play on normal if I feel like it. That's how that's how I play FTL. Um, okay, so we've got intruders in the oxygen room. That is really annoying, and they're going to try to get into there. I'm going to send my Rockman, and wow, you got you got healed remarkably in the last. 10 or so jumps, I guess. I guess that makes sense. I mean, I could actually mind control one of them. I think that's, that's going to be... Oh, wait, I forgot that they can pass through the doors. That was not where I wanted you to go, you idiot. And now I have to fight him in there. Well, that's freaking brilliant. You know what? You can stop, stop running around. Yes, go help your comrade. Go kill your comrades. Okay, we've got... One, one's dead already. I should close up these doors. Mr. Rockman, get, 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 what's going on here? Oh, okay. Go fight him. Now I should actually focus. <laughs> oh my god. Hate dodge chance. Okay, uh, I have a clone bay, so I'm actually not super concerned about you dying. In fact, it'll probably help you. Oh, 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 forgot to power it. Forgot to power it. <laughs> Brilliant. Sometimes, I'm just really off the charts in intelligence, and I'm being completely sarcastic when I say that. So, you can return to your station, and then we fire that at shields, hope it hits, and fire on weapons. This is a good strategy. And then we'll mind control the guy fixing the shields will apparently go and attack the engines? The one thing I hate about mind control is you can't really control what anyone does. Like, it's mind control. I think you, they should act like regular... Yes, go fight your companion, blow up and injure him. And this should kill them. Well, that was efficient, even though I had to deal with those borders. Okay, that is a considerable amount of scrap. Um, I'm going to jump to that distress beacon. I think because I can. Oh, and it looks like it was a trap. I really don't like traps. Okay, I think it's obvious who we're going to mind control on this ship, because slugs cannot be mind controlled, so that leaves us with the mantis who I would have mind controlled anyway. Did that do whole damage to us? I don't know if it did. Weird. Um, I guess we'll just fire everything in that general direction, and that lets us mind control which will considerably impair their abilities. I need to get that upgraded, actually. That's one of my... Okay. We'll fire on shields. Good, and then we fire this. Wow! Terrible dodge chance. R really high dodge chance, I mean. I don't know what I'm talking about. Don't listen to me. Just, just watch me play. That'll make a lot more sense than me talking to you, probably. Okay, good. That is disabled. Now we can annihilate their weapons. That is not a great surrender offer. 
I know I am playing on easy, and like, I shouldn't be super happy about this, but honestly, I, I enjoy playing FTL. I don't really care what the difficulty is. You could set me on hard, you could set me on easy. I don't really care. Like, as, as long as I can play it, it's fine by me. Um, it could get three bars of shields. I'm going to wait on that. I know that sounds crazy. And instead, I'm going to go for an extra level of mind control and an extra level of engines. Oh, wait, I'm really stupid. We're, we were going to the store, weren't we? Ah, oh, I make such bad decisions. Oh, well. It's okay, it's some more combat here. Um, I'm going to mind control the weapons guy. Just so that, I guess, they can't fix that as effectively. That's what I'm going to be firing on, so... That resisted, however, we still take system damage from that, which is rather annoying. We'll just have our human come and fix that. And that started a fire, so they're going to be fighting in a fiery death pit, basically. That's what I like to see. Go fire! Kill them. <laughs> yeah, they're both pretty critically injured. I think with this weapon, I might want to get a teleporter. Not right now, but at some point, I would like to get a teleporter. Um, which enemy crew member do I want to kill? I'm going to kill their pilot. And that disabled their piloting system. If that goes critical, if they both die, yeah, that, that would have been hilarious. I don't know what that guy was doing. I might actually be able to... Yeah, no way are you jumping away. I might be able to do this. Yes! Um, terrible surrender offer. We got a rock man, which I am perfectly fine with. I mean, might as well have more crew, more the merrier. More people to repair if somebody dies, I guess. That's the pessimistic way of looking at it. You can also click slash for that, just so you guys know. Um, it looks like I'm going to have time to jump to this beacon. And we come into some danger, which is good. It looks like they're going to teleport on board. Unless, of course, I mind control him. Which would be rather hilarious. So, they'll duke it out over there. Maybe I should just fire on them. Oh, they have a missile launcher. I should not do that. Sometimes I make super bad decisions about this game. I'm like, hey, I'm going to fire on this. And then I'm like, oh, wait. No, that's really terribly stupid. What am I doing? Wow, okay. Our, our Mantis guy that we mind controlled did a lot of damage and okay I was like is he going to is he really going to teleport over that was not what I meant to do this I will find at something else that killed him and I'm going to try to kill him I, I keep hitting the freaking wrong number buttons that destroyed their ship that was not my intention I was trying to kill their crew but honestly it doesn't matter that much looks like we will have just enough time to jump to the store and then the exit Hmm, repair arm. That's not bad. Reconstructive teleport. We do not have a teleporter. Shield charge booster. Not a big deal. We have enough crew. Um, apparently lots of Zoltan and a human. This store has almost nothing to offer to us. We are good on repairs. We're good on pretty much everything, actually, right now. So I guess it was not a huge mistake to upgrade some of my systems. I'm going to upgrade my dodge chance. I really like passive dodge chance. It's probably one of my favorite parts. Like, it's probably one of my favorite defenses. Just because I love I love seeing the futility of your all of your enemy shots miss missing. I am really sorry. I, I am off today. I just keep repeating myself and ugh. Um, anti-ship fire drone. And some and random scrap. Mantis controlled. Away! Now the problem with the Crystal Cruiser is even if I do find the Rock Home Worlds, I have to jump to just about every beacon in existence. Because there isn't a quest marker like you do if you get the stasis pod and then the whole research facility thing. It's really annoying. However, I'd much prefer doing this and jumping around a bunch of beacons as opposed to going through the whole thing, Kamarede, or I don't, I don't know the right word, sue me, the whole song and dance of having to find stasis pods and whatnot. Once you arrive, location, our FTL navigation is on Haywire and 
Camp Podcoys in the nearest depot. I will lead them to their destination, and we got 27 extra scrap. Our quest is way up there, which is fine by me. I honestly don't care that much. And we are going to be fighting near the sun. I have plenty of rock crew members, so fire should not be a huge deal. Um, I'm going to mind control their pilot, I guess? Because I like to mess with people. And it looks like both their NG and their Mantis are going to come and fight him, so I know that's a bad idea. They... So, oh, I don't like the look of that. Um, Mr. Crystal Crew member, you've come in here and fixed this with my human. And then we fire everything on weapons. So it looks like they have a med bay, which is annoying. I can't wreak quite as much havoc as I normally would be able to with my mind control. However, it doesn't really matter. Um, I could fire on their med bay. I'm not going to though, I'm going to fire on their piloting. Oh my god. Actually, that's not too bad. Uh, Mr. Rockman, you go put out the fire, please. Other Rockman, please also put out the fire. Put out the fire, Rockman. Just do it. Uh, okay, cool. And now we're ready to go. Uh, I can probably do that. Goodbye, Mr. Sun. Rock crew. Oh, this is the laboratory fireman. And we got 60 scrap and a battery charger, which is honestly useless right now. <laughs> I don't like the battery. Like, it's it's an interesting subsystem. I just dislike it. A Mantis military ship piece. Appears on the local radar alongside the remains of a human freighter. Prepare for a hostile encounter. So this is going to be fun. Um, that is a scary missile, which I don't like the looks of. I'm going to... Obviously, mind control their pilot because he's a mantis and the other guy's an NG. Not really a ton of reason. Come on, come on, come on. Yes! Disabled their missile. That was what I wanted. And now they have a hole breach in there, which is going to be fun for them to repair when they have a mantis. And good, good luck surviving that, buddy. I guess I'll fire on their piloting next. He is almost dead, yeah. Um, I'm going to fire on him with my crystal weapon, because it's a cool weapon. I like the idea of firing crystal chunks of things. Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, I had to go and get some water because my throat was dying. Moving on. There is a store here, and we have 219 scrap, however, that's kind of a dead end. I'll jump to it, I guess, just because. Um, they've got some useless weapons, a med bay, drone control, ooh, defense drone mark one. It's really good, I like defense drones for the flagship fight, however, since this is kind of focused around finding the... Crystal Cruiser, good lord, I am all over the place. I figured I might as well just not. I can, uh... If they had had cloaking, I would have bought it. I think I'm going to save my scrap for now. And get my swarm missile active. I am going to repair my ship a little, just because it's convenient. Okay, and that means we can now have swarm missiles active. Along with our whole laser and our chris heavy crystal. Why is there another store right here? That's so weird. I don't like it when stores spawn like that. It's so annoying. Alright guys, so we are at about 29 minutes, 30 seconds. So I want to thank you guys for watching this series and participating in our whole community of Flaming X Gamers. Um, I hope you really are enjoying these videos as much as I am. And we'll see you guys later. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.